hello guys welcome back again and you are here with me on syllabus cracker as usual today's video we will be doing motion of venice act one scene two we have started off java programming i'm so excited to teach you and motion of venice act one scene one okay so we will do motion of venice act one scene two as you can see not too much the story will become interesting and interesting at the last you will find interesting by the end of the drama but your end of the drama must be on when you are in 10th standard now this is the syllabus of 9th standard students and i know up to i know the story up to act 2 scene 7 i just read through see the translation and now i know up to act 2 scene 7 but i started with generally anyway let's start so if you are new here please like the video share with your friends and subscribe to the channel without no time waste let's start so motion of venus act one scene two so this scene takes place at the room in Portia's house in belmont but Portia is a rich heiress in a place called belmont and the location is in her house, a room in her house, Portia's house. And the Portia Narisa. Narisa is Portia's maid or lady in waiting. From lines 1 to 30, let's discuss lines 1 to 30 first. So, the story begins with Portia. So, she's saying, she's saying, I don't know, but by the fate, by her fate, Portia is saying, I'm so I'm so tired. My poor little body. Porsche is saying her poor little body is getting tired by her fate. By my trot means by my fate. So in act one, scene one, Antonio was also sad and tired. And in act one, scene two, Porsche is also feeling sad and tired. There is one difference of sadness. There is a difference between Antonio's sadness and Porsche's sadness. We will come out after discussing line number 40 50. During that period, you will understand the difference between Antonio's sadness and Portia's sadness. Nariza says that she would be she would be tired if her place is in neither poverty nor rich. So what the point? So some people are getting sad due to their poverty or lack of money i'm not saying about those who are no money but few money few income so but Porsche is vice versa or she has too much money she has many money she has her own what bellman cultures it's we discussed in actions and he has her own kingdom but due to his high wealth she is sad so, some people are sad because of their poverty, but Porsche is sad with being upon her rich life. So, Larissa says that you must not be too poor nor too rich, you must be in the middle. Okay? For I can see that you, you are not, you are not, you don't become poor and rich, you must be a moderate, stand in the middle. So, he says this is not a happiness at all. So we must see it in a mean. Then you can see superfluity comes on by white hair but competency later on. Very important line. It is uh, better if you underline that line. Underline it. Superfluity comes on by white hairs. What do you mean by superfluity comes on by white hairs? Those people who have too much are usually getting old sooner. That is for example, imagine, okay, let's take Porsche itself. Porsche, Porsche, she's a rich, she has everything, she has many things to do, she's too busy and too rich. Then she will notice that she's getting old. Understood? That is what superfluity comes on by YJ means. But competency leaves long. So, so consider Porsche itself, example. If Porsche has enough things to do, what is necessary for her to do if she is living in that condition? 
she will live for more years and years she will live more than five years maybe more than 10 years maybe 20 depending on the situation so superfluity comes in by white hair but competency is longer those who have too much of anything will grow old sooner while those who have just enough to survive will live long superfluity competence by hearing this Porsche says that good sentences also you pronounce it very well Narisa then says that yeah saying is so simple it is better that if you follow what I said and Porsche says if any man in the world or any woman in the world know what she must do then the small chapels that you are wearing will become big churches and a poor man's cottage will become a palace of a princess princess's palaces palace so he she says that yeah it is a good divine it's a good divine good creature uh, to follow the instruction then Porsche is uh, Porsche uh, she can easily teach 20 people about the good things than one of the 20 to follow Porsche's teaching. So she says that if you know what you must do, everything would have changed and she can teach 20 people what were going to be done. Um, yeah, she also says that the brain makes laws for the blood and those people who know what to do when they are young it is called as madness that is young people decide what to do by themselves it is called as a madness and they skip with the nets they skip the nets of a good advice they escape from a good advice from the net of a good advice any tears nets it is called as the cripple but according to Portia she must not want a husband like this she says that oh me the virtues now i cannot choose anyone which i want nor refuse anyone that i would i don't know what to do it is a will of a dead father Porsche's father is a dead man so according to his will she has to do whatever it is and it is she says that Nariza is it hard that I cannot choose anyone or I cannot refuse anyone what to do Portia okay continuing lines 31 to 50 Nariza says that yeah your father was a virtuous man she is a good man sorry he is a good man and when he is almost dead they had good inspirations that is a good guidance for him. So he had devised a lottery of caskets by which Portia can choose his suitor. How? There were three chests. One chest was gold, another silver and lead. Whoever chooses the right caskets according to the meaning will have to marry Portia definitely. So and Portia also questions. Now there are many suitors arrive. So what will you tell to them? Portia says that. Okay, I request you. Please call out their names. And as you call your names, I will describe them. I will surely describe them. And according to my description, I will choose who will become my husband by Lord of Cascade Case. There is a... First, there is a Napoleon Prince. Porsche is saying that, so Narisa is saying, the first suitor is Napoleon Prince. Porsche is saying, yeah, he is an inexperienced man. For he does nothing but always talk about his horse. His horse is everything. The good thing, the good thing that Napoleon Prince can do is, he can shoe his horse. You know that uh, shoeing the horse is somewhat, you know, an iron-like thing is there, iron-like thing. So they insert this iron-like thing in the feet of the horse. It it uh, it suffers too pain. It is too painful. It is the most cruelty that you do to the animals. It is too painful. 
but later they will find it easy you can just google yourself about the shoe of the course okay and he Porsche also says that this Neapolitan prince mother had been an affair with the black cement 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 black cement he had an affair and done wrong with the black cement secondly Nerisa is saying ah then there is so Neapolitan prince he is a prince from a place called as Naples, N-A-P-L-E-S. Second, there is a county Palatine. He is a count from a place called Palatine, a drying valley. So, Portia is saying, oh, this county Palatine does nothing but always frown. We discussed in two-headed Janus, one phase is always frowning and could not laugh. So this county paladin is also a frowning man. And he is speaking. You don't have me to choose. His behavior is like that. He hear many merry tales. But he never uh, smiles or laughs at anything. He will, when he, this county palatine will go old. Osha is afraid that he will prove the weeping philosopher. Now, what is a weeping philosopher? Weeping philosopher, once upon a time, there was a person named Heraclitus. H-E-R-A-C-L-I-T-U-S. So, it was believed that he was so distressed by mankind that he went to forest to live alone. So, he will prove, he may prove the weeping philosopher when he gets old and with his unmannerly sadness during his youth time. Uh, okay. Porsche is also saying that it is better to be married to a death's head. What do you mean by death's head? Death's head, skull. With a bone in its mouth. It is better to marry a skull with a bone in its mouth. So he is, is that Portia says, she says that, Oh God, please protect me from these two. Who are these two? The Polish Prince, County Palatine. Next. Nerisa's third one is, What do you think about uh, Monsieur Leban? So, so this third suitor is Monsieur Leban. So what do you think about Monsieur Leban? Mm, okay. So God made him. He is a man of no quality. No quality, man. And she says that, oh, what is the speciality of this Monchi Lebon? He has a horse. He cares more horse than Neapolitan. And usually he frowns more than County Palatine. So he has the quality of many men. He has a horse to look after. He frowns than a County Palatine. And he is every man in no man. What do you mean every man in no man? So, he has the quality of more than 10 men. That is, it is not suggested like that. But he is all in one man. You know, like 5 in 1. So, if you have five, uh, 5 different objects for 1000 rupees. So, they will make an offer that 5 in 1 offer for 400 rupees. Somewhat like that. So, he is like all in one man. And if a throstle, throstle is an English word, sings, he will start dancing at his, at whenever he hear a throstle singing, he will directly start dancing. If there is no person around him, if there is no person around him, he will dance with his own shadow. It is better to marry 20 more husbands, why? Why to marry 20 more husbands? So, there is a question here. Why Porsche suggests that she must marry 20 more husbands? Because, first of all, you must mention about the horse he has caring of more horse, about frowning than county palatine. Then, you must mention the point. If a throstle sings, he will start dancing or fencing with his own shadow if there is no other people. So, if Porsche marry him, she must marry 20 more husbands because he is old in one man. 
that all in one keep your mind don't write the next time he's an all in one man don't write don't write like that don't write an exam all in one man i just tell to keep you clear you must write he must have a quality of every man he must have a quality of every man so if porsche marry this monche lemon he will porsche will love him with madness otherwise porsche will anyway forgive him that's it continuing from lines of 73 to line 100 nariza the fourth suitor she is asking what do you think about the fourth suitor the falcon bridge the young baron of england porsche she is saying i don't want to tell anything about him for or because for is referring to because that is a speciality that shakespeare introduced to us because he doesn't understand me no i doesn't understand him instead of or shakespeare uses no that is the way of their english he, so he is uh, porsche saying she sorry he doesn't know neither latin or french or italian or it or his his speaking of language is like you have done something wrong in court of justice when you come to court c u r t court he says he is talking are like he come to court and swear that he has very little knowledge in english he says it is equivalent of speaking with falcon bridge is equivalent of speaking with mind dumb show means mind he is a oddly suited man why because he bought a doublet doublet means jacket in italy his breeches in france his hat in germany and behavior is anywhere everywhere he is so if we discuss that monsieur leban he is old in one man he have characteristics of many men but falcon bridge is one in all man in exam how are you supposed to write yeah he have uh, many things like uh, doublet in italy round holes in that is a uh, jacket in italy breeches in france and uh, hat in germany and due to this we can see that his uh, different different things are in everywhere or we can say old uh, old in everywhere man next Osha asked, "What do you think about the Scottish Lord's neighbour?" Osha, she is saying, "Ah, according to my knowledge, or according to the information that I have, he have a neighbourly charity with them. That is a charity from by the neighbour that he was given a blow, oh, from as a box from an Englishman, and he swore that he would." pay back the money or as the box when he was uh, able but what happened was that porsche says she think that the frenchman has become or guarantee that he would repay the debt and he has to see or buy under the other next one ariza ask about a german duke of saxony's nephew porsche says that very badly in the morning he is like worse man because he drinks he start drinking and while in the afternoon his condition if we tell about his condition it he is better than a beast he is worse during afternoon due to his drinking habit and he is better than a beast during that time and porsche says i wish i could manage another person nariza the nariza so continuing from lines 101 to line 135 nariza says that she should decide to choose if you should decide to choose the right casket 
that is if Saxony uh, somehow choose the right casket and even though you don't want them, it is equivalent of disobeying Portia's father's will. Then what will you do during that time? Then Portia says, it is better to place a deep glass on a Rhenish wine on the table. So Rhenish wine is a wine from a place called Rhine, or Chayani, that is Rhenish wine. It is, uh, therefore, as a fear of the divorce, it is good that you must place a deep glass of Rhenish wine on that table on the contrary casket, that is on the wrong caster. Anyway, he will also drink that. He will also drink that Rhenish wine also. He is a man like that. So, ah, Verna. So, he we can do anything. He will do anything, Elisa. But it is equivalent of marrying a sponge. Why is sponge? Because he is drinking, that is, soaking or absorbing liquor. So, that is a sponge. So, sponge can also do this. It seems like that. Saxon is also like a sponge. So, I am saying that it would be better if you underline that line about the sponge. So, then the reason as a reply, she says that. Uh, don't worry you girl, you Portia lady. Instead of having these uh, people, that is the suitors, it is better to be acquainted with these determinations or informed of the decisions that you want to marry or not. Just tell me if you want to marry them or not. Which is indeed to form and trouble you with plus you. That's all. Unless it is you have to want them by father's conditions so it is good that you are, uh, you are looking the characteristics and going but in case of uh, in case of the lottery of casket it if you are against them if they won the correct casket and you are against them it is equivalent of not obeying Porsche's father that's all then Porsche say if I so under it is really better if you underline the, the line which I am going to see. If I live to be old as Sibiella, I will die as chaste as Diana unless I be obtained by the manner of my father's will. Underline these lines lines uh, 18, 19, and 20. Please underline that, it would be better. So, who is Sibiella? Who is Diana? Roman mythological god and she, she is not severe of a place called Cumin, Roman mythology. So Apollo a person. Okay, there was a person called Apollo Apollo. So he hold grains this much so many um, what you say um, yeah sand grains you know sand grains so she held apollo uh, here as many as grand hill uh, grains as possible and tell that you will leave the more of which i have sand grains in my hand what do you mean by that consider this sibila was 50 year old consider sibila was 50 year old and apollo just took a uh, pick up a sand grains. Consider it was 80 sand grains and said that if there are 80 sand grains, Sibila will live 80 years more. What do you what do you say? Consider okay, let me take another example. Consider Sibila is a younger, say 30 year old. Apollo took 50 grains of sand 50 number of sand grains and told that you will live 50 or more it means or 60 consider 80 sand grains also you will live it 80 or more it became true it became true so 30 year old Sibila lived 80 or more that at that is at her age of 110 she died so that is this Sibila and Diana she is a Roman mythological goddess based upon hunting of the moon so understood who is Sibylla and Diana so if Portia has to live as old as Diana she will die as Chastas Diana she will die as Chastas Diana and live old as Sibylla than these suitors. 
sorry than the manner of the father's will and she is also saying that this parcel of words underline that parcel of words means these set of suitors so they are reasonable because what who portion one is actually not here who portion one is actually not present so she feels something different like that so they so there is no use of these suitors though they must have their own departure so that's the reason she asked Poshia, Hedi, don't you remember a man, a gentleman in your father's time who was a Venetian, a scholar and a soldier, a scholar and a soldier, who it is Bassanio, we will look, that came here as an Italian nobleman, so that is a Montefort, Marcus of Montefort, Marcus of Montefort is a title of an Italian nobleman. So, we were discussing about... Uh, uh, so, continuing. So, Marcus of Montefort is a title of an Italian nobleman. Okay, just keep uh, remember like that. So, Portia. Ah, yes, I remember. The, I remember who it was. It was Bassanio. Yes, Nariza. She, she, uh, Nariza agreed and replied to Portia that, yeah. All those my foolish eyes, foolish eyes, not my foolish eyes, Marisa's foolish eyes, have ever looked on these useless suitors. The suitor we mentioned earlier. This was the best deserving man, fair lady, fair lady referring to Portia. Then Portia replied, Ah, she remembered it very well. And you remember the praise during that time. So enter a servant. So Porsche has one of the servant. Now let us discuss line 136 to 150. So Porsche is asking, how now what news? What do you mean by how now what news? It means hello, how are you? What what is the news? What is the news you have put on me? Servant. The four strangers seeks for you. Four stranger means those suitors. Shakespeare accidentally used four. Actually, it is six suitors. Let me check. Uh, we had uh, Napoleon, County, Montreal, Falcon, Saxony, Scottish Lord's name. Okay. Six suitors. So, Shakespeare accidentally uh, written four because he might have forgotten. That's right. So, four strangers means four seek uh, that four suitor is looking after you madam and they are trying so it's the time to take their leave so they are going to take the leave that is that means they're going back to their palace or home and there is a foreigner what do you mean by foreigner a person before when master comes so if a uh, if a prince is coming before that a person another person will come saying that the prince will come those persons are called foreigner if a king come before that another person come informing that the mm, king will come that is that person is known as foreigner so th the prince is the or the king is prince of morocco he is coming here tonight that is what his servant says Portia, okay so I would have made him a good welcome to the fifth person. Portia might forgot it is seventh person. Portia might have forgot it is a seventh person, but she said it is the fifth person with so good hurt that she can she will make a good welcoming and will say farewell to those suitors that the uh, farewell means a goodbye. Okay, remember farewell means goodbye. F E F A R E W E L L. So it so I hope that person is what the condition of a saint and the complexion of the devil that I wish. And should and uh, Portia also hope that he rather listen to what Portia want than he wants. After that, Portia said, Ha Narisa, come and Sarah go before. Sarah go before is addressing to his servant. So she uh, while we shut the gate upon one rule, I will not set it off. It means 
when one suitor or one person go away and we close the gate another one enters when one person goes away and if you shut the gate it is not necessary that you shut the gate or not but according to their rules it's like that so another one enters that's what that was merchant of venice act one scene two if you like the video please hit the like button and share with your friends and subscribe to the channel and if you have any doubt regarding act one scene two just comment below and also comment below was my video good or need i need any improvement or anything so meet you in the next one till then